Hi, I'm Dave Lennett from Line 6, and we're going to take a quick look at the M13's looper function. So on the M13, you enter into the looper function by just hitting the looper control. You can use any of the effects pedal boards that you've got set in here and any of the effects in the loops. Um, right now, I have on a, a model of a tube screamer, and I start recording by just hitting record overdub right here so I can so I've got essentially just a little beat that I can work with if I can I can go half speed if I want which I want right now I've got a reverse button Like that, if I want to do something reverse, which I think at this point I actually do want to do. I can go back to my effects, pull up something like a nice univibe. Come up with something I want to record. So now I've got a little chord progression to work with. I can still take that, come up, go back to my uh, to my pedal board, come up with other sounds if I want. I can turn off that that univibe that I use. Maybe grab a little bit heavier drive. Go back to my looper control. I'm actually going to flip it backwards again just to kind of get something a little bit trippy. That flips back around. that I actually don't like what I just did. If I decide if I actually don't like what I just did, I have one level of undo. I can actually get rid of that last thing that I did if I thought it was overpowering or something, and then go back and grab another sound. Maybe I just want a textural, kind of a clean backwards thing. Flip it backwards. Like that, I flip it back over. And that's basically it. I can use any of the effects that I've got in the in the M13, or the over 80 effects that are in there. 28 seconds of, of recording, one level of undo. I've got half speed, I've got reverse a full function looper in addition to a, 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 an amazing pedal board packed with all of the effects that we make at line six.